When this largemouth bass returns to the backwaters of the Mississippi River, it will carry some luggage, a $175 radio transmitter affixed to its spine. Iowa Department of Natural Resources biologist Mike Steich and Denny Wise tag this fish and other bass, crappie, and bluegill, usually in the fall, to see where they spend the winter. The fish tracking has been going on along 85 miles of the Mississippi for almost a decade now, part of a $2.5 million habitat restoration project under the Federal Environmental Management Program. Tom, they're really good. When we locate these fish, we're going to take water quality measurements, dissolved oxygen temperature, water velocity, water depth, that kind of information. To do that, they skim along the frozen backwaters in a hovercraft above 18 inches of solid ice. Scientists now know these fish and others like them prefer to winter in fairly deep, calm water but that habitat had been disappearing due to increased sedimentation from the river being dammed and heavily traveled and from eroding uplands. A rebuilding project now underway is changing that. And we create this with a deflection levee and a berm to, so it decreases the wind and wave action. The plants can grow up and provide habitat for the fish. Using GPS to plot the fish's locations, Stike and other biologists can get a precise picture of where the fish go. Yeah, we've had great results. We, we've seen the vegetation go from nothing to coming back, and the fish are now using more of the project area. The new habitat encourages vegetation to grow rapidly and is also good for nesting geese and ducks. The ice fishing's better, too. For Assignment Earth, this is Bruce Burkhart.